All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, 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 today is a very, very special day, and I'm telling you, I'm going to be talking to some amazing guests of mine, people that on my personal list come up, I've ranked very, very high on my respect list. Uh, I'll show some love. <laughs> but in the meantime, folks, check this thing out. Uh, it says, whatever you can do or dream, you can. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. Begin it now. Do you hear that? Whatever you can do, whatever you can dream, it means you can do it. Boldness has genius, magic, and power in it. So just get up and do it. My guest that I'm going to be talking to was inspired by these words and he's done it. And he took boldness to set up what I think is one of the greatest universities in this country and on this continent. Ashesi University. Show some love, man. <laughs> and he was working with Microsoft. He made good money, he made plenty of money. He didn't take the money and go and buy property in uh, Los Angeles and California. Maybe he did, I don't know. <laughs> but he brought it, or most of it, to Ghana to set up a university from his own pocket and then started it. Put your hands together, folks. Show some love for my dear friend, Mr. Patrick Aria. <laughs> Have a seat, my main man. Have a seat. And welcome to the show. Thank you, Jason. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. And we're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, we'll be on the roll. All right. So stick around, folks. We're taking a break, and we'll be right back. It's going to get sweeter than guinea fowl. It's the KSM Show. The KSM Show. We are back and yes, yeah, it's been a while. And I remember, you know, the first time I talked to you, you had just started your university. That's right. And the campus was at uh, Laboni. Laboni. Right. You had just about 30 or 40 students. That's right. Mm -hmm. And you were telling me that Ashesi is like Ashazi, the beginning. Right. That's right. Yeah. And I'm talking to you, what, 14 years later? Or 14 what? years later. And you have a magnificent university now. And uh, congrats to begin with. Thank you. Congrats. Thanks. Thanks a lot. But that was a bold step. We're going to be talking about anything, but that was a bold step, man. Working with Microsoft very comfortably, making some good money. Yeah. What was that moment that you decided, no, I'm... I'm so, it's actually, there were a couple of moments. Right? Okay. There was a moment when I, I got up in the morning one day and I asked my wife, what would you say if I said, I'm leaving Microsoft today? Hmm. Let's go to Ghana. Let's do education. Hmm. And she immediately said, yes, let's do it. Wow. Uh, and then I sat up and said, wait, I think we should think about it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, so, not so fast. Not so fast. Just think about it this. Wasn't the, it wasn't the answer I was expecting, <laughs> okay. to be honest. Um, <laughs> but it took me about a year and a half from there before I, I left. And there was another moment when I walked into my manager's office and I said to him, I'm, I, I'm thinking of leaving. Actually, I decided I'm leaving. Mm -hmm. I want to go back to Ghana and help with education there. And he said, he asked me a question, what can we do to keep you? Mm -hmm. uh, and I said, you'd be competing with a dream. Wow. Uh, wow. And so uh, then he said, okay, I, I can't compete with a dream. Wow. And, wow. and so we, we agreed that I, I love that. You'll be competing with the dream. Yes. Mm. So that was the second moment. And, and at that moment, I had decided I was leaving. Wow. So what was it about education? Was your, your parents like, what was it about the education that? Well, I decided that education was really important. Initially, I, when I was thinking of coming back to Ghana, I wanted to set up a software company. Mm -hmm. And I came back and I was talking with people who were studying computer science and they were not using computers. Mm. They were learning mathematics, they were writing code on paper, but it wasn't, they weren't getting a practical education. And I felt if I started a software company, I wouldn't be able to recruit enough mm. good people from out of the universities to make the company successful. And so I set that idea aside and 
ultimately decided that education was going to be an area where, you know, it's important in any country, in any society, and if I could get engaged and uh, bring a new way of education, move away from learning by rote memorization to problem solving, and if we could also think about how, how do we teach the future leaders of a country mm -hmm. to be mm -hmm. deeply ethical, and, and how do you do it at that intersection when they're so transitioning from being a child to being a, an adult, a young adult. Uh, so that's how I decided that education, education was the thing was to it. do. Wow, yeah. wow. So, so, so leadership is very, very important to you, evidently, yes. obviously. Yes. <laughs> and then training them with that ability to th think critically was also that's right. very, wow. To be able to think critically, to be creative and innovative, uh, and to be problem solvers. Mm. This is, this is very important. And so you started as a chassis, right. uh, about 30, 30 students you started with? We started with 30 students, yes. And you rented a couple of buildings in Laboni, and I remember. <laughs> yeah, I know. We, we rented one building. One building! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we turned the garage into a health center. We, the, the living room was the admissions office. Wow. Um, the staff quarters was my office, <laughs> <laughs> and the bedrooms, uh, we used uh, the bedrooms for the library, and then we also set up a, a separate structure on the, mm -hmm. on, the, on the compound that we used for a classroom wow. and a computer lab. An extremely bold move. That, that, that your dream was that powerful? Was that it was. I mean, remember, by the time we rented that building, uh, we had also acquired 100 acres in Brekusu. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we had made a big uh, mm -hmm, land acquisition. Mm -hmm. We had raised a significant amount of capital. And so it was very clear to me that this was a temporary mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sort of startup phase okay. for us. Okay. And so it didn't, feel like, it didn't feel like I was starting too small. Oh, cause, okay, okay. It, it, felt it, was, like it felt in the plan. It, yeah, it fell in the plan. There was a grand plan of what we were going to do. And we had to sit down and say, look, it's nice to think about the big thing you're going to do. But you have to start somewhere. Yeah. You have to yeah. do step one and yeah. then do step yeah. two and step yeah. three and yeah. keep going. That, that is, that is so. awesome. That is, and, and, to, and to the youth that are listening, these are some of the pointers I want you to pick and let it stay in your mind. You know, no more. Start, with, start with a grand plan. Have your grand plan, but start with your small step towards that grand plan, which is what you did. That's exactly what we did. Wow. And Barakusu is like a fascinating campus. It is. It turned out to be absolutely beautiful it, campus. Show some love, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I, 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 I usually see it as, you know, very, very soon, if not already, to be one of the leading universities on this continent, man. And in the world, actually. It seems to be that way. Yeah. Um, it's, it's been really remarkable to see what our students are doing mm. and what the alumni are doing. Um, and, and not just here in Ghana, but all, all over the over world. Wow. Wherever they go, wow. they really stand out. And um, I know that I've, I've met uh, some professors in the U.S. who have... Um, discovered that they had these Ghanaian students in their master's mm. uh, you know, program uh, who are at the top of the class. Mm. And they asked them, where, where are you from? And where did you, where did you do your undergrad? And they're expecting to hear that this Ghanaian student came to the US for the undergrad and then did the graduate program. And it's at the top. And they find out, actually, they did the undergrad in Ghana. Wow. Uh, and, uh, they're very surprised by that. Wow. But I like that kind of. <laughs> 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 I, I like that we change, we change the narrative. Mm -hmm. We change the mm -hmm. narrative mm -hmm. of our continent this mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. well, well, when I first remember the first time I heard about a sh a uh when I was uh, back on a TGIF, I got a letter from these students who had made their own uh, traffic lights. That's but the right. traffic lights, project, yes, yes. Would, 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 it would read the amount of traffic and they would, you know, change according to the intensity of the traffic. I'm like, really? Okay, bring them, bring them on. And they came with their math 
Prof. That's right. So, yeah. yeah, so um, uh, Professor uh, Anku. Anku, That's yes. Right, right. Yes. So, yeah, and, and that project was actually done in a mathematics course. Wow. So wow. it was discrete math, and they were applying mathematics to a, a real problem. Mm -hmm. and, and the design of the system was that they had these cameras mm -hmm. that, could, that could look at traffic and count the vehicles. Mm. Um, and then based on the intensity of traffic on either side, it would change the timing of the lights. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, um, and then also based on which side was stopped, um, would be able to, the light would be able to have a signboard that would be a moving ad mm -hmm. that could, you mm -hmm. could display rich content because they were stopped, they were stopped. not moving, right? right? Yeah, yeah. Because I was like, wow, you know, I was so impressed. I said, well, where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> That's the first, my first uh, encounter with an Ashesi moment, you know. Right. Yeah, so that was very, very impressive for me. Yeah. You know, to get people thinking practically education right. that was going to be relevant to their surroundings. Exactly. I, I love that project because they were, it was a math course. They were thinking about a real problem. So mm -hmm. actually they were thinking about a very specific road. It was, in t you know, the Tishi road. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And... So they're doing math mathematics, they were applying computer science and computer vision, and they were applying sort of business economic thinking. So how do you fund a light like this? Well, maybe if you had this ability, since you, you know when the traffic is stopped, mm -hmm. you had the ability to sell ads mm -hmm. to the mm -hmm. people sitting there. Sitting there. Then this thing, you, you get the funding that you use to maintain the, the, the facility. And I thought it was interesting to have students in a mathematics mm -hmm, course mm -hmm. thinking about a social need mm -hmm. a real economic need not wasting people's time in traffic yeah, yeah, yeah. thinking about computer science and mm. thinking about business all yeah, in one all course. in one yeah and i remember having a chat with the professor and says everything is mathematics man <laughs> that's right <laughs> <laughs> everything everything is mathematics that's right you know, like, <laughs> wow so how does it feel man i mean now Looking at your, your, your campus setup, you know, uh, from your smart, smart more days as a right. student and really having pursued this bold dream, getting to this stage. I mean, and I was looking at the list of uh, your awards, man. I wanted to mention it, but I, I, we don't have enough time, folks, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> You've done so great. Honorary doctorate degrees, you're a fellow in this, uh, Aspen, you're... Yeah, it's so it's been, it's been very gratifying to see. Uh, and w one of the interesting things about a chassis, and sometimes I, I call it a project, and people say it's not a project anymore, it's an institution. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and I, but I, the thing about this project is the name has turned out to be quite prescient in the sense that every year is a new beginning for mm -hmm. us. I mean, it's... It, it never feels like, it never feels like we've arrived at some destination. Mm -hmm. It always feels mm -hmm. like we're on the next step of a journey. Mm -hmm. there's, there's always something more to do. And um, my job is not getting easier. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is every bit as rewarding as it's always, as it's ever been, mm -hmm. right? Um, and the other thing that I, that I find is really great is that um, over time, I am starting to see a lot more um, the stories of the Ashesi community mm. is becoming more important than the story of Patrick. Wow. wow. And that to me is a significant mm. new step for, okay. for the okay. institution. And it's something I want to push along because mm. 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 You know, ultimately, my uh, success as a leader of this institution uh, will have to be measured by how well the institution does when I that's step right. away. That's right. That's right. When I'm no longer mm -hmm. there, right? Mm -hmm. And so, mm -hmm. seeing that other people are, are rising mm -hmm. in stature mm -hmm. within the institution mm -hmm. and that other stories are becoming more important mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. is really wonderful to see. Mm -hmm. Take me back a little bit to your childhood. Your parents and your, your 
My, I grew up mostly in Accra, mm. uh, though uh, as, an, as a child, um, spent some time in Kumasi and Takaradi. Uh, but the family, you know, we grew up mostly in Accra. And my father worked at the State Construction Corporation. Mm. He was a mechanical engineer. Mm. So his department, they, they were the guys that maintained the... Um, the machines that State Construction use for its projects, whether it's you know building the runway at the airport or doing roads in the country mm. and so on. Um, my mother uh, started as a nurse, mm. um, and then she left that to um, to be a, a how shall I say a wholesale uh, okay. trader in the market. Okay. So okay. she sort of was the one of those who were the intermediate between manufacturers and uh, retailers. Mm, mm, mm. So um, now, so that's my parents. Uh, we, we grew up here. I went to Association International okay. School, okay. then went on to Achimota School. Okay. Um, and then after Achimota, I left. Uh, okay. you know, I, well, actually, I taught for a year at, at St. Mary's okay. dur during my national service, mm. and then I left for the United States. Wow. Are there siblings? Yes, I have, uh, I have several si siblings. Mm -hmm. um, I have a, a brother in Chicago, a sister in London. I have a sister here in Accra. And, and of course, lots of cousins. <laughs> <laughs> Your so, parents are both, yeah, they are around? Yes. My father is passed. Okay, uh, my passed. mother is, is he, okay. still here. She lives okay. with me. Very proud mother. I can guess. She you. is. She's, <laughs> she's a very proud mother. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, how about the wife who was like, yeah, let's go. Let's go and... Uh... Uh, well, she's still, she's still um, here in Ghana mm. w uh, with me and the kids. And uh, she teaches at a chassis now. So oh, when we okay. first moved, okay. she went to teach at Lincoln, uh, mm -hmm. the American school. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. uh, and then at some point, uh, I think, what happened? So we had a, we had a, a visiting Fulbright uh, professor from the U.S., whose kids were at Lincoln. Mm, mm. And so, and, and my wife was teaching advanced placement mathematics, so college level math at Lincoln. And uh, this professor said, you know, your wife is a really good math teacher. Why isn't she here at a chassis? <laughs> 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 and I, I said, well, um, I can't recruit her into a chassis. If you guys want to, you can. Yeah. You can have a go at it. And so they did. So she and the provost went and uh, spoke with oh, her wow. and, and convinced her to come join the... So she's on the Ashesi staff teaching she's math? On the, she's on the Ashesi team teaching math. Yes. Wow. Put your hands together. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Luck, lucky for us. <laughs> <laughs> and the kids, how many? I have two kids, two a 21-year-old and a 14-year-old. Oh. oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. It's funny how we all call them kids, you know. So when it's a two right. kids, I'm imagining them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> even they are 30, they are kids. I, I finally <laughs> understand why when I was 25, my parents still called me a kid. <laughs> <laughs> my yeah. first one is 30, and right. I call her a kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like she's, still your, she's still your baby, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow, Patrick, congratulations, man. We, I just wanted Thank to... You. Hang out with you a little bit, do some catching up. Well, and thanks for the invitation. It's my pleasure, my pleasure. Here. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll meet again. But I, but I like what you said about now, Ashesi growing, the institution is growing, and it's not, it's not the Patrick factor anymore. Right. Or as much. Right. Because there's still the Patrick factor. Yeah, it, yeah. there is, but, mm -hmm. but it's, it, there's, still, there's, there's more going on there. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and it's, it's, I'm really pleased to see that. Fantastic. Any words you want to give out to... Ghanaians who are impressed with your move. By the way, you are listed as one of Ghana's uh, multi-millionaires. Did you see the listing? Uh, which one? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, saw, I saw it on the web, though. I, uh, yeah, well, I, I read some of those, that talk. Some of it is exaggeration, yeah. to be honest. Uh, <laughs> so I, I, I saw a story which is wild, wildly exaggerated. Um, <laughs> I said, ma, that, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but look, my message to young uh, Ghanaians is that there's a nation to be built. And, and they're the ones who are going to do it. 
Hmm. And uh, they, they are actually now the majority of the population. Mm -hmm. And the world that is coming, you know, if you look at Ghana's population growth rate, in the next 30, 35 years, our population will double. Hmm. So, and that, that means many things. The market gets bigger, the problems get bigger, infrastructure must grow, uh, schools must grow. So there's, there's a ton of work to do. And there's an incredible um, opportunity before us mm. to meet that challenge. And if we meet that challenge and if we uh, engage it um, with integrity, with dedication, with commitment, this country will flourish. Um, if we don't, then we've got problems. The problems will also double, right? So, but I think people need to focus on the opportunity before us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And nothing is going to come easy, but if we work hard and if we work with courage um, and dedication and integrity, that we will, we will uh, build uh, a great nation here, and we will advance the cause of Africa. Put your hands together, man. <laughs> amazing, amazing. And these are profound words from, uh, from somebody whose life proves that he has a great track record and he knows what he's talking about. So the challenge is yours, man. And you are the majority. I'm talking to the youth now. And uh, the ball is in your hands. Don't let it drop. Farrakh, thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Show some love. And stick around, we'll be right back. If you're having as much fun as I am, stay tuned. If you're not, you need deliverance. We'll be right back. The KSM Show.